in South Africa and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express coming to you live this glorious Tuesday afternoon for our fantastic Tuesday cook-along shows. Now, of course, during this time of self-isolation and being extra precautious, we have been advised to stay home and avoid going to public places. That makes it the perfect time, however, for a cook-along with Afternoon Express because you get to make dinner along with us from the comfort of your own home. And, of course, you get to learn something new about cooking in the process. Of course, today I am in the kitchen with our resident chef, Trumi. Hello, baby. Hi. And of course, she's got her fellow Taste Master competitor from 2019, Imtia's Heart. Welcome back, Hi. darling. Always good. And of course, all of us here in studio today have been uh, practicing self-isolation at home, but we've only been going to the studio where, of course, everything is sanitized. We are sanitized. We've basically just been sprayed down with all of the clean tea tree things you can <laughs> imagine. So, of course, today we are of course focusing on goodness focusing on quality focusing on good taste and we're just going to be having fun in the safe kitchen and of course we're going to be focusing on the versatility of olive oil so what is our main course for today who am i doing the main with well today we don't necessarily have one particular main course oh, but we have one uh, ingredient that we're going to be using three ways and that's okay. our olive pride oh, so divine. we're going to be making a tapenade and then as well as a basil pesto and basically showing you the different ways to use these beautiful little sauces Oh, I really enjoy that. You know why? Because I'm one of those people that when I go to a restaurant, I never enjoy eating one solid dish. Yes. I like I to have like lots of different yeah, little things. Yeah. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. And of course, if you want this recipe, all you need to do is SMS the keyword uh, clover to double three six five zero. SMS is the one around fifty. Eat and free SMSs do not apply. And uh, then we've got a dessert, do we? Uh, we have a cocktail or a mocktail. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> Why is it dessert? Hello. You can see we're not very close friends yet because a mocktail is dessert, love. So what is in our mocktail? The mocktail will be served the uh, tropical juices. Yeah. And then we're going to have a mango puree, yeah. some tonic and some good old mangoes for garnish. Good. Oh, gorgeous. That sounds absolutely amazing. Of course, to get this recipe sent directly to your phone, SMS the keyword drink to 33650 to get the recipe. SMSs are 1 round 50 each and free SMSs do not apply. And of course, tonight is Tropica Island of Treasure Carousel. So if you're going to be watching from the comfort of your own sofa, you've got to be doing it with one of these delicious Afternoon Express mocktails. I mean, how good. Yeah. Oh. Which team are you? They're gonna be, oh, no, listen, I am I'm, I'm team red all the way. Oh, yeah. who are you? I'm team green. I'm the girl power I, I, all the time. I, I cannot wait because you know what's <laughs> going to be happening. Whenever or any of the couples or the you know, contestants and their celebrity is going to be eliminated, they're going to be coming into the studio for oh. an interview. Please, 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 can my favorite team, team Trevor, um, get be eliminated? eliminated. That's what you're just, so that, uh, just so that he can come and sit on this couch every day. Can uh, I come to the so <laughs> Yes. He's so delicious. <laughs> wow. Anyway, back to our other amazing guests who we've got here today because of course on our Tuesday cook-alongs we love to invite all of the most some of the most fabulous people in the country and for today's special guest Snezium Somi became known last year when she competed in one of the country's biggest talent competitions and in the six months since she has become a national star with her debut single Kungu Musa surpassing hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube have a look at this
with us online. If you've got any questions for Snazzy, all you need to do is tweet us at Afternoon uh, Chat using the hashtag Afternoon Express. Go visit our Facebook page or our Instagram and, of course, use our hashtag. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having oh, me. So lovely to have you. Kungumusa. Yeah, it's what by it grace. Mean? It means it's by grace. You know when you, you've been um, in a journey yeah. where you sometimes feel like you're just lonely and all by yourself and then God's grace always has a way of showing itself. Yeah, girl, you're not alone. I'm always here with you. So, Kungu Musa means it's by God's grace. Honey, we are all Kungu Musa at the moment. <laughs> we are all Kungu Musa. <laughs> COVID is not playing with anyone. We are no, all No, 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 we're not playing. How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? You must have had such a year. And I have to tell you, you are just one of these amazing rising stars that when I think of your story, I just, I actually, I am sanitized, but I just want to give you the biggest hug. I just want to give you the biggest hug because, girl, you grew up with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You literally grew up with the whole world weighing down on your shoulders and you've pushed through and you have become such a beautiful, gracious star. Well done to you. Really, really well done. And the reason why there's a Kung Musa yeah. wasn't easy. Oh, so I knew, oh, I knew this uh, when I saw you. <laughs> I knew that I was going to sob throughout the show. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, we're not crying. Oh, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's been just God's grace throughout yeah. the whole journey. Yeah. It's not easy when you feel like you're on your own. I know. Um, no one's standing with you. Even... If it's two against ten, yeah. you're not going to recognize the ten because the two seem to be powerful. Yeah. So it's yeah. really been hard. But God has been God. Yes. Well, let's discuss some of that, like how difficult it was. So you lost your mom when you were four. Yeah. You didn't know who your dad was. He only came into the picture much later. Yeah. And you were raised by your grandmother who also didn't have much. How... I mean, I, I can't believe how you've, you've become this amazing, independent star with such a beautiful soul. What was your like life growing up, though? Growing up was, was for me, it was normal. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> so. It is normal. For me, you don't know anything else. It is for normal. me, it was normal because it's the only thing I knew. Yeah. And my grandmother has so much love. Yeah. So the love just oh. made us not to realize or rather compare ourselves to what other kids are having. Whatever that we had was yeah. enough for us. I had to grow into this strong person, I'd say. And having to be strong, I had to be real and yeah. true to who I am yeah. and try so hard. You know, it's very hard when you are a kid not to compare yourself to others. It's impossible because yeah. <laughs> that becomes mm. your, it validates you, you yeah. know, where you are, like, you, get, you get your gauge. Yeah, because so it, it was very hard because like, you know, when you're a kid and you're like, ha, Sman Bunny's house is very nice. I'm visiting, I had a friend, in Mlazi there's like a different section. Yeah. So I had friends from W section. W section is like the suburb of yeah. my hometown. Yeah. So I had friends from there. When I visit them... And they like, were the posh people. Yeah, they were the posh people. Yeah. So when I go there, I'm like, oh, Ganko is very nice. And my house yeah. is like, mm. And then Koko would be like, ha, girl. You need to appreciate this is your home, this is yeah. who you are. You are going to work hard and change where yes, you come from. Yes, but listen, I think the fact that you have that means that it gave you the ability to, to have God's grace in you to say, you know what, this is where I come from. I appreciate and I love where I come from, but I'm going there. Yeah, I always say that. <laughs> I'm going to go live in the posh neighbourhood. <laughs> mm -hmm. I always say I'm not going to move to the posh neighbourhood, yeah. but I'll create my home, yeah. the posh neighbourhood in the hood. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, why yeah. not? <laughs> so I'm not going to move anywhere. I'll make my home, the dream home my grandmother always dreamt of yeah. and I always wished to be in. Yeah, Snazzy from the block. <laughs> <laughs> so I think also something that uh, God's grace did give you is joining the choir from a very young age because it wasn't that kind of a leveller with the yeah, other girls. Yeah. Were you more talented than everyone else? Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say that, but I remember I didn't like singing. 
Really? Why not? Why not? I knew I could sing, but yeah. I just didn't like singing. I thought I was going to be a lawyer because that's what my grandmother wanted me to be. Yeah. I'm sorry, Grant. <laughs> my grandmother wanted me to be a lawyer, so I had this thing, I'm going to be a lawyer at some point. And then when I got to high school, there was this girl from my hood. She yeah. was doing matric when I had joined high school. And then she was like, she can sing and she needs to be in the choir. Yeah. I used to run away until this one time. They yeah. caught me in the toilet. <laughs> I was like, okay, no more running away. I'm gonna come join the choir. Wow. I wouldn't say I was the most talented one. I think it was the loudest. Yeah. Yeah, I was just loud. And then, but I mean, did music save you in some way or was it just a natural progression from you? Because I mean, you're obviously super famous now and everybody loves you because of the talent. But before that, I mean, you were doing backing vocals, you were on the gospel scene yourself. I mean, you were already doing really well. Yeah. So how did that progression happen? Ah, uh, okay, from high school, I joined the choir. Hey, I was the girl of the choir, is doing <laughs> solos and stuff. And then life after high school, I think that's when I started breaking out into being a full-time musician. Yeah. 2014, I did Clash of the Choirs. Yeah. And then after Clash, I did backing vocals, yeah. vo backing vocals full time. Started doing backing vocals for Tina Zungu, Dramim Gokstad. Oh, man. I, oh, all the heavyweights in yeah. gospel. Yeah. And then I was so lucky. After Clash, we recorded Mam Rebecca Malope's 35th album. Yeah. So that's like the highlight. Incredible. We've had her on the show a couple of times. She's phenomenal. Yeah. So I, 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 I became a full-time backing vocalist until, yeah, last year I decided, my grandmother forced me to go for idols. Yeah. And then God being good, things happened. She must be so proud of you. She, she must be really proud of she you. She is. We've still got lots of time to chat, but we've asked you at home and uh, online if you've got any questions for Snezzy. And Solomon asked, what advice would you give someone who had a burning desire to do something but is really scared for some reason? What is your advice to the young men who are looking up to her? Or well, young men and young women who are looking up to you? <laughs> well, I, I, I always tell myself that there's no other snake and yeah. There's only one Snentlandla. Whatever that Snentlandla has in heart, yeah. God knows already. Yeah. But God is not going to just say, hey, do this. God is going to wait for me to insinuate the moves. Yeah. God is going to wait for me to say, okay, now I'm taking a step against whatever odds that I'm facing. Yeah. So, man, whoever, when you feel like you can do it, you're not going to know that you can really do it if you don't try. So. Yeah. <laughs> try. Put your foot out there and try. Then Dee asked, how is your life after the show stopping performances and when can we expect new music? Life after the show stopping performances. Yeah. It's show stopping. Yeah. You know why I say life is show stopping? Because I always say my life after idols is godly driven. Yeah. God does things at his own pace. Yeah. Like he doesn't compete against anyone. Mm -mm. Does, if it says, hey, this is how you're going to do it, this is where you're going to be, if I wanted to release an album tomorrow and he wants me to release an album in three months' time, that's going to happen. But there is music coming up. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> there is music, <laughs> there is yeah, music coming up. Just that I cannot specify because we all know the procedures and stuff. Exactly. But there is music. Music is piling up and when it comes out... Yeah. Do, 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 do. It's going to be nice. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay, good. We're going to go and wash our hands because you know what I've actually just realised mm. in this whole like isolation time is how much I love touching my face and how much I love touching other people. I and I'm actually creepy like that. I'm apologise for everyone that works for me. I'm a creep. I touch people a lot. So I'm going to go wash my hands now. And after the break, we get cooking in the kitchen. So again, please join me in washing <laughs> your hands. Get your apron, and we will see you after the break. You ready to cook? Mm-hmm.
Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil to your table. Made with love by Clover. <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And of course, it is our glorious Tuesday cook along with our fabulous, fabulous guest, Snezium Somi. Now, at the moment, we are, of course, being encouraged to stay in and avoid going to crowded public places. So it's a really great opportunity to work on our cooking skills at home. And of course, today we are focusing on Olive Pride Extra Virgin Olive Oil by showing you three ways to use this really versatile ingredient. And all of these things are great to store in your fridge, so you'll have them on hand when you need to take your meals to the next level. So, to get the recipes, SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs are charged at one round fifty each, and free SMSs do not apply. And, of course, if you are one of those stockpiling people, there's always amazing <laughs> fresh <laughs> olive oil in store on shelves. So here we are. We're yes. at it. We're what are we begin? starting with? So being that the main objective here is to use our olive pride three ways, we're going to get started over here with the tapenade. I'm going to ask you to get your hands dirty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what you're going to do for me here is I'm just going to need you to put the um, olives into this jar and, and then I'll tell you what tell else. You, this is my favorite thing in the world, olive really? tapenade. Oh, how I love mm. olive tapenade with oh. everything. I actually it can't so stand delicious. olives, funny enough. I how like, are we even put, like, fresh? Too olive salty. Or just the portion. All of it, yeah. All okay, I want to know, what is your cooking like, Snitz? Ah, oh, it's okay. I, honestly, <laughs> it's okay. That's all I'm going to say. Like, what do you cook at home? <laughs> what are your go-to meals? I don't have a go-to meal. But I'm the bab girl. My grandmother can't go cook bab, so I cook the 2020 type of bab. You know, yeah. the one with vegetables, oh. mushrooms. Yeah. So, what do you, the, so the there's boss. different varieties of bab. I just know the pup that you have with the nyama. That's no. my bad. Well, it's the, the same thing. So it's the it's same just thing. Nice. Just that the one go, uh, went to private school. <laughs> you know, the one from private school. <laughs> <laughs> the one that has, like, a lot of So you do the private mushroom. school yeah, one? Yeah, private school one. <laughs> private school one <laughs> is the private school pup. Really? With cheese in and yeah. butter and Adam. Oh, oh no, but then you're going to come back. When you release your album, you're coming back <laughs> and you're going to make it for us, yeah? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, good. How Then olive top and is that all it is? Perfect. This so is this? Yes, no, no. No, so we're putting the olives in there, and then we're going to go with our ro roasted um, garlic here. So what we've done is we've roasted our garlic in the oven. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is we want to release the sugars in the actual garlic. That way it doesn't become too bitter. So it's not too bitter in there. So I'm adding just three cloves Ooh. into here. Because if you okay, add let the... Let me tell you, this roasted garlic, you want to throw that in your pup. Mm. Yes, actually. Yum. Yeah. Mm. That's okay. a great idea. If, you were, if we were to add you, fresh you, garlic, it would be very, very, very spicy. Yeah, that's So we're yeah. trying to avoid that because... Oh, yes, because then also, if it's too... That is a lot of garlic, but no, no I'm loving your tapenade already. already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it also mellows out a bit, so it's not too bad. <laughs> and then we're going to go in with some of our anchovies over here. You can just get started with that. So the anchovies um, and then some olive pride in there. And then you're just going to blend it all together. And then depending on how thick or how smooth you want it to be, you can just keep adding the olive oil into there. Okay. So I'll let you get, get done with that. Can I trust you? Okay, <laughs> how, how, how much do I put? Let's put in about uh, just half of that um, container okay. there. Okay. And then I don't know what you guys are getting up to over there, but I think we're getting started with the relish stuff over there. Yeah, so we're yeah, going what is to add the coriander sauce or relish. So Ooh. you can either be a sauce or relish depending on how much olive oil you add. Okay, so what have you now chopped up? Coriander so I've chopped up and the garlic. coriander and the garlic. We don't okay. have to roast it for this, but if you want, it can add that extra yeah. flavor. Yeah. Would you like so to So there's just them? certain people in the world, some that like coriander and others that don't. I am one of those people that love coriander. Love. And then I think it's part of the... Is it called cilantro or is coriander part of the cilantro plant? I refer to it as cilantro at times. Yeah. But yeah, Depends we know it's want to be South fancy. Af yeah, it's <laughs> really fancy. It's cilantro with prawns. And as my grandmother would call it, danya. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Danya. Danya. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's another dough. Okay, now what do I do? Beat this. So you're going to beat that. And as you beat that, I'm going to add some cumin. Yeah, chuck it in. Chuck that in. That's going to give a nice This is going to be amazing, I it's think. It's going to be yum. Yummy. Then we're going to add some liquid. Honey. Yeah. Honey? Honey. Okay, I'm going to do this at home because... Now I've got all the time in the world to master it. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
recipes um, is that you literally have all these ingredients most of the time in your fridge. Mm. So you don't even have to go running out to buy more stuff. Well, I went to Woolworths last night and everybody that was there before me has definitely got all of these ingredients <laughs> in their fridge. All, literally all of them. <laughs> there was nothing left on the shelves. So I'm getting started with the element that goes with our tapenade. So we're yeah. serving crudités. So basically... Oh, divine. Yes, we've got curry, we've got, uh, sorry, celery, we've got carrots, we've also got cucumber. So we're just forming them into... It, sure. It's, it's a, a knife skill called batons. They're not exactly very... Uh, the same size all around, yeah. but batons would be like rectangular. Uh, like baseball bats. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll use that. <laughs> Let's go with that. But basically, yes, we want to make sure that they're all the same size. So I'm going to try and make sure that the carrots are also cut, cut in the same length and same uh, size all around. Yeah. Okay. And then we basically need to use this as a dip. Okay, can I help you with this? Do you want to do this? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Let's start it with... Okay, this is... Smashing is... going. No, babe, this is smashing. <laughs> this is going to be absolutely amazing. Are this you at home so cooking with us? Let us please know what you are doing. So, basically, if you are at home watching Afternoon Express, this amazing cook-along, please do let us know if you are cooking along with us or what you are making today for... Da for a late lunch or a dinner, we would love to know what you are up to okay. during your self-isolation. I read the funniest joke, actually. So you know that champagne is only allowed to be called champagne if it comes from the champagne region. So <laughs> this joke this morning said that quarantine, you're only allowed to call quarantine if you're from Quarante, the French region. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just sparkling isolation. Oh, wow. So if you are in sparkling isolation with us, please do let us know how it is going. That looks good. Oh, this is great. Okay, so we'll be serving that with toad in a hole. OK. What is that? Are you going to put an egg in there? Yeah. Oh, divine. So you can just use a French loaf, ciabatta, anything that you have at home, even yeah. if it's a slice of bread. These are the best, though, ciabatta. OK, I'm going to make these a little you bit just more. Chop that I more. want to chop this a bit more. And then I'm just going to take out the centerpiece. Yeah. With your eggy. And that's where you're going to put your egg in. Oh, divine. OK, let's quickly summarise while we're going on. <laughs> OK, so we're doing our little crudite vegetables over there with our olive tapenade. And to make the olive tapenade, all that we did was put olives, mm -hmm. olive oil... And um, Anchovies. Your health <laughs> and <laughs> olive oil, anchovies, mm. uh, olives... Olive oil, anchovies, salt, yes. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Just blended it all, as well as the olive pride. Was that it? Yeah, and then some olive okay, pride, olive oil. Obviously, the more, the smoother you want it, the more olive oil you add. But I like it nice and chunky. This is. Have you ever had olive tapenade before? Nope. Girl, um, grab a baton. This is going to be your first taste experience, and trust me, this is amazing. Try it. It is so delicious. It's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> hey? mm, mm, mm. How good? It's actually nice for a person who doesn't like olives like me. Do yeah. you really not like olives either? <gasps> I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. You. Not... I like tapenade. I love tapenade. Like I love tapenade. I don't like. How olives. do you guys feel about <laughs> olives? Because I mean, when I d studied Greek mythology, in my opinion, they were literally <laughs> the fruits of the gods. <laughs> And goddesses ate this for beautiful skin because it's so full of all that oil. Mm -hmm. Let us know at home how you feel about it. <laughs> Woo! Anti-olives, yeah. <laughs> OK, so we've got our olive top and on that side. More for me. <laughs> and then on this side, of course, we've got this sauce. absolutely amazing sauce. So amazing. In this yeah. sauce, we threw in cilantro, we threw in garlic, we threw in chilli, and, of course, this amazing olive oil. So it's gorgeous for the skin, beautiful for the hair. Is there anything else going on in the sauce? Um, literally just not, um, cumin and cumin. then salt and pepper if you want. Beautiful. And, and, and that's going to be served with amazing little egg and a little toad in a hole. Yes. How good? Real good. Yeah. So we're going to be right back after the break with our amazing non-olive eating kitchen team. <laughs> and we'll be back with our next delicious olive oil recipe after the break. Looking for immune support? Remain at your peak all year round with Immuenza.
Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil to your table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Of course, it is our Tuesday cook along, and we are celebrating the really good, delicious flavor properties of olive pride olive oil. And of course, we've gotten the olive caponade already, which, by the way, the general consensus is that the majority of people in the studio don't eat olives, which is fine because that means there's more for me. Then we made this amazing cilantro and uh, olive oil sauce. We're waiting for the eggies to cook and our little toes in the hole. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Really, really beautiful flavours coming out of this kitchen today. And now we're getting started on something else. What are you mushing up there? More we cilantro. Actually, yeah, there's actually parsley. We're making a three-ingredient pesto because I know a lot of times people worry about the fact that I'm vegan or I don't really have a lot in my pantry. Yeah. So you can literally make a three-ingredient pesto. We've okay. got basil over here, but you could even use spinach. Okay. Baby spinach works perfectly for that as well. And because of the flavor in the olive pride, you don't even, it doesn't need to be cooked, so you just add it as is, and it, it's perfect. It's so perfect I have to tell spinach. you, I made a green detox soup the other day, and I used parsley, spinach, kale, anything that was green, actually, that I had in my fridge, I used. <laughs> Literally, I took everything that was green. Um, parsley, I used so much of it, because the, the bag was starting to go a little old. Mm. So I put the whole thing in the soup, and it is so good for you. It was so tasty. And actually, do you know why they always put parsley on the side of your plate, like as a decoration mm. when you're in a restaurant? Mm. Because parsley removes bad breath. Oh, yes. Huh? Actually, I've heard that rumor that you must Yeah, so on if it. you just like have a little nibble of parsley, <laughs> <laughs> on the side of your plate after your meal, your breath won't smell of whatever you ate. Like if you had a lot of garlic, or if you had a lot of whatever has got extra fragrances. Yeah, <laughs> even mint is actually. How as amazing well. is that? Interesting. And of course, a lot of interesting properties. Uh, basically, I'm a wealth of useless information. <laughs> <laughs> no, <that's useful. laughs> this is really great. This is going to look amazing. And will the egg cook through all the way? You don't yes. need to like poke it or stab it or anything. No, no, no. If you cook through, you're just going to turn it around quickly at the end. Okay. But you're just going to cook it over a low heat, and then it will just cook through. Beautiful. Okay, so my darling, I heard some really interesting things about you. <laughs> One is that. You are probably the biggest rugby fan, like, ever. <laughs> Not really big. Really? But I'm a rugby fan. I heard you were the biggest, and I heard that you hate high heel shoes. <laughs> 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 Can we discuss this? <laughs> <laughs> Not really hate. I hate is a big word. But I only wear them on stage. Really? I, I, I literally carry them yeah. to the gig. Yeah. And then backstage, I'll be on my sneakers or my slots. Yeah. And then before I get on stage, I wear them and look cool. Yeah. And then literally after performance. But I then you know on. what? Why don't you take your trainers and then bedazzle them <laughs> so that you can just wear your trainers on stage? Because then you can like do a little Lady Gaga. And like, you know, when she sings, like, come on, everybody. And then like she skips and stuff on stage. Because I tell you, the, the business of going to dance parties in mm. heels for me is completely over. <laughs> I used to be that girl who could dance the whole night in heels. Done. It's over for Squats me. on heels? Done. Squats in heels I can do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's because it's good for the... Like, gives you extra tightness. Yeah, it really does. Squats with heels. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I really enjoy that. And then rugby you really love. So I'm guessing you're a big Sia fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I remember on Idols there was this insert yeah. where they're like, uh, if you were stuck in a desert, who would it be? <laughs> like, Sia <laughs> Colis. <laughs> no, but that's a really, really good choice though. Like if you God. have to be stuck with, you know, if, if you needed a partner on that tropical island of Treasure Curacao, I would want Sia Colis. Definitely Sia Colis. Definitely. Yes. Because his Definitely. mind is strong, his body is fit, he would win for sure. Definitely be winning it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, In oh, the next oh. season, he's going to be my choice. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, there's this thing going around where people are talking about quarantine bay. As in, who do you want to? Who would you want to be quarantined with? Okay. Uh, do you have someone in mind? Well, yeah, <clears throat> Leonardo DiCaprio has to <laughs> need quarantine as well. He travels. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so far away, and I'm not going to travel is. to America to get to him. Who is your quarantine bear? <clears throat> Bearing in mind we love Rachel Khaleesi, and we are not about oh, that yeah. life. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Honestly, my quarantine bay would definitely be... Especially here, but... 
Oh. Oh. And he's okay. a he's, he's one of the yeah. tropical. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So next year we're going to need to get you on that island. If he wins this year, then maybe he will be back on the island next year. Yeah, but that can be arranged. Is he single? Ish. Good question. <sighs> Do you have have you slid into his DMs? <laughs> no. Happen. I love he's at home watching the show. <laughs> No, I'm not that girl. Girl. Yeah, Honey, listen. Hey. You're a gospel girl. You know that if you ask, you get. Girl. I'm a church girl. Guys, my grandmother is watching. <laughs> no, Granny will also like spare. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you to blanch those first? And what am I supposed to be doing with these? I don't know what. It, you handed them to me. I was about to walk out of the kitchen. I don't know what I thought I was doing. Okay, blanching the beans. Is it, is it fine? Uh, yeah. You can... Okay, so okay, did you guys know today is actually St. Patrick's Day? And we've got some green! I know! I Happy St. Like, Patrick's Day! Yeah. Yes, this is why I wore green and why I'm going to make a little home pub in my house a little bit later this evening. Yes, happy Paddy's Day. Yes, happy St. Paddy's Day, guys. Also, yes. green pesto, other green sauce, all the greens all the in favour of celebrating all of our Irish super fans today on the show. Okay, your um, pumping, like... Juicing skills are amazing. That looks fantastic. Yeah, I have a spoon before. Ladies, what else are you going to be doing over here? Okay, so we're done basically right now um, with our basil pesto. Yeah. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, I've already got the crudités ready with the um, with the olive tapenade. Yeah. So we're basically going to dress our salad here because we've okay. got. Okay. You've asked me to blanch these be beans. Yes. What is blanching? Like, are they blanched already? <laughs> Uh, they should take about another minute or yeah, so. So basically, yeah. blanching is we par cooking or cooking something and then uh, putting it in cold water immediately after to uh, stop the cooking process. Do you have cold water? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you can uh, just bring. Um, I'll just bring. Okay, I'm just going to yeah. put them on to in sort here. That out for you. Okay. And then what is that? That's the start of the pesto. That's actually the pesto done. We oh, literally amazing. just have the olive pride, olive oil, as well as the basil leaves. We put some parsley in there just, you know, for kicks, yeah. as well as some salt. And that's basically it. Done. Okay, delicious. And dusted. All I needed to do was parboil a couple of boinkies. This is the best cook along I've ever done. I'm literally <laughs> here to do anything. Okay. There you go. There you go. Where do these beans go? Are they crudités or what? They're part of the crudité. I'm just okay, going to add in. this in here. <clears throat> All right, that is looking amazing. I can't wait to eat that, actually. That is right up my alley. I love it, Annie. Oh, that oh, is my kind of taste. This is my kind of Delicious. Oh. All you need to do really is SMS the keyword Clover to double three six five zero to get this recipe. And of course you get all three of these amazing recipes. So it's a good deal for that one round fifty SMS. And just in case you might have missed a step, here's a little reminder. Yum. I wanna taste that. Later this evening is the next instalment of Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, where somebody's future boyfriend will be on the show. <laughs> so in anticipation, after the break, we are making a really delicious <laughs> Tropica mocktail to enjoy during the show. We'll see you soon. You're going to take it away for us. After the break. Support, we are now able to donate 20,000 pairs of Smart Step school shoes to children in need. Celebrate goodness when you buy a crush. Dial the number on the pack for a chance to win your share of cash prizes and school fees. Crush, share the goodness.
There's nothing smoother than the fresh, cool taste of Clover Tropica. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Shumi, I have to tell you something, and I've got a little confession to make. Mm -hmm. Physically, I'm here, but mentally, I'm far, far away in Curacao <laughs> on an island I know. sipping cocktails with Trevor. I'm right there with you <laughs> in the bushes. And really, <laughs> it doesn't matter which team you are supporting because right now, tonight, we are going to have a really, really beautiful cocktail while we are watching the show. Yes. Because we're going to be cheering for Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao when it comes to keeping it smooth. We've got the winning recipe. So our Tropica Mango and Peach Bellini is definitely one to sip and savour as we can all catch the excitement on tonight's episodes. So SMS the keyword drink to double three six five zero for the recipe. SMS is a, uh, one round fifty, and free SMSs do not apply. <sighs> I lo do love a little Bellini. I know, but there's no champagne in this one. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. That <laughs> comes later. <laughs> All right. To get started with our Bellinis, we've got some very ripe uh, mangoes that go in first. Yeah. So we're going to blend all of this up, so um, we don't really have to worry about how big they are or how fresh, not how fresh actually, how uh, ripe they are. So because can I tell get you what I do with way. all my fruit? Because whenever, like I always shop with my eyes and I always tend to buy a little bit too much. And when they start to go a little bit, I'm not going to say off, but overripe, that's when I start making soups with all the greens. Yes. And that's when I start making juices with all the fruits. Yes. Um, and that, it's actually a little bit, they're quite sweet. The, they're sweet. Yes, they get much that, sweeter ones. Nice. Yes, and that's perfect because then <clears> you <throat> don't even have to add any additional sweetening to it because the, yeah. the natural sweetness from the fruits um, takes the place of Can it. I ask you a favour? Because well, you know what I did this morning? Mm -hmm. I d did a little, I had extra ginger in my fridge. Yes. And it had passed the sell-by date. Mm -hmm. And I made a ginger juice out of it, but apparently garlic and ginger you can't use after it's sell by date because it becomes toxic then. Or is that true? I've heard this rumor and I would like to uh, comment on that, but I actually don't haven't researched okay, it myself. I'm going to research it and then I'm going to let you know. <laughs> so there's Please. certain things that you can like, I Even mean, onions, if it's like, a, a, a banana or a mango, if it's like expired, you can still have it. But other things maybe not. Okay, so over yes. here we've done our puree. Yeah. So Delicious. this is basically going to be the bottom part of our our um, Bellini, yeah. but we're not going to use that. We've already got some that we've made earlier on today. Yummy. So this is one of the f my favorite parts. You do one, I do one, just yes. that I learn. <laughs> so we're going to start off by getting the puree right at the bottom yeah. of the glass. Okay. And then we're going to top it up with all the other mm -hmm. ingredients, mm -hmm. which in this case is going to be our... Let's just start with some... And by the way, we have washed our hands before this <laughs> insert, and we did desanitize, and yes, we only we greeted did. using each other's feet. Elbows. Elbows, all the rest. Just palm, all of that. Yeah. Do My prez, old Cyril, is going to be so proud of me doing his little... <laughs> then we run a seat. Okay. Just lying, I don't see anybody. <laughs> Okay. And then we top it up with some of our Tropica. Okay. And then obviously for the beautiful colour, we're adding some mint leaves into our drink. And then top it all off. <laughs> You're so extra. And then top oh, it all off. Because I feel like being at a cocktail bar right now, this is the closest I'm going to get to it. Okay, nice. No, okay, so this is, this is your imaginary carousel. Yeah. Perfect. So that's our what do you cocktail. Top it up with? This is just some ginger ale that we've Ooh. made, that we've oh, got there. Good. So while you're doing that, I'm going to get started with decorating our beautiful glasses because you know a cocktail is only as, mm -hmm. only as tasty as it looks. So we need to make sure that it looks as delicious. So Did you I'm throw gonna, a chili in? I put it in the puree. Okay, so we don't throw an extra one in there just for fun. No, no. Okay. I think we've we've realized that our gauge on sweetness and salty okay, is not that, the Your gauge and my gauge is very different. So you can decorate however you want. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm just going to decorate my glass okay. over there. This oh, is my take on it. You can yeah, do no, you are fantastic. I'm going to copy you. you like. And this is ours. There is our glass. And that's my cocktail. Okay. And is this going to get any flavour in it, like these little lemon? Not really. It's more for deco because obviously, when you're on the okay. when you're on the beach, you just want to look pretty. So um, it's just for aesthetics. Okay. Do you want to help you there? Yeah, please. Okay, cool. And then because I can use it as a swizzle stick as well okay. to stir it to get that like lemon lime zest Perfect. in it, which would actually be quite nice. So it is just stir and sense. Yeah. 
Perfect. Okay. This is going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to enjoy mine this evening watching Trevor. I mean, Tropica, <laughs> Island of Treasure Curacao. SMS the keyword drink to double three six five zero to get this recipe. And remember to tune in tonight, 7.30 p.m. right here on SABC3 for the next episode of Tropica, Island of Treasure Curacao. Next time on Tropica, Island of Treasure Curacao, after some dramatic twists in the first week of team challenges, it's time for the first elimination. What? Now we get to see who will double cross who. What was the strategy? We're not a threat. Betrayal always comes from those closest to you. How do you play this game with an honest heart? Catch Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Repeat Saturdays at 8 p.m. Only on SABC3. Still to come on Afternoon Express, Snazzy Somi performs her debut single live right here in the loft. Can't wait for that. There's nothing smoother than the fresh, cool taste of Clover Tropica, made with love by Clover. Express yourself. I've never met someone with a heart like this. Is what it means to be selfless. Even when I was in a state of panic, she showed me true bravery. Often the bravest people don't see themselves as others do. Join us in celebrating these brave heroes. Nominate the pharmacists and healthcare professionals in your community making a real difference and stand a chance to win 5,000 Rand. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you are having a really wonderful, safe afternoon this fabulous Tuesday. Now, the hashtag Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao is well underway. And although we are only two episodes in, we can see that there is really a lot of drama waiting to unfold. So one of the elements in this season that will definitely upset the balance of the game is the long life charms. Now, these charms might be small objects, but it can have a huge effect on the outcome of the game. Let's take a look at the following clip from episode two. Throughout the competition, you'll be playing for these long life charms. Accumulating these will give you a game changing advantage when it comes to the grand finale of Tropical Island of Treasure Curacao. Every one of these represents a 30 second head start. 
ahead of the team that you're competing against in that grand finale. You can imagine having one of these is 30 seconds, but a few more might give you a minute or two. And that could make all the difference between you and one million rand as a team. Oh, well, I've always thought that a lucky charm would be the, what separates me from a million rand. So these charms get awarded in the long life charm ceremony to the winning team. And if it happens that there is a tie, then the two top teams will compete for the long life charm. Now, every time a team gets one, it gives them a 30 second head start in the finale. So there is no limit to how many a team can get. And if a team gets eliminated, they may have to donate it to a team of their choice. Let's see if they know how to play fair. Now this is really a fresh and fun element that Hashtag Tropica has introduced into the season of Tropic Island of Treasure Carousel. And it will have a knock on effect actually throughout the season. So if you want to see what is going down in episode three of Tropica Island of Treasure Carousel, Remember to tune in tonight at 7.30 only on SABC3. Next time on Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao, after some dramatic twists in the first week of team challenges, it's time for the first elimination. What? Now we get to see who will double cross who. Ah! What was the strategy? We're not a threat. Betrayal always comes from those closest to you. How do you play this game with an honest heart? Catch Tropica Island of Treasure Curacao Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Repeat Saturdays at 8 p.m. Only on SABC3. Okay, so, I mean, I've been waiting all day th for this performance. I'm pretty sure that you have too. We've had so much fun on the show today getting to know you. You are absolutely amazing. Don't you think she's incredible? Our very special guest, <laughs> Snazium saw me. Oh, she's such a babe. And, of course, here she is to close the show off in style with her debut single, something that we all need right now, Kungu Musa. Love you, babe. <laughs> Jehovah, be like a 
was that just not so stunning? You know what I'm obsessed with? That in the kitchen, she's got such a beautiful, small voice. And on that stage, the biggest voice, my darling, that are waking up all of those angels. <laughs> that was incredible. I wish I could hug mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much for having <clears throat> me here. What is your final word, a message that you want to get out to all of your amazing fans and Gran, who's watching? <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting me during yeah. Idols and after Idols. Yeah. Everyone who still believes in me yeah. and everyone who's still holding on to Usnezi. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And Granny, me, I love you. <laughs> you are the sweetest. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, your talent is just amazing. Girl, your career is just, it's got so many, so many incredible places to go. Really, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to have our fabulous dinner. Please do be safe at home. Remember to exercise all of your cautions that we've been warning you about over the past few weeks. And uh, take care out there. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time, same place. Good night and God bless. Ciao. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Uh, never feel good production.